Hi, it's Joe here. I wanted to bring you a video um, on something that someone had asked me a question on, and it would be about creating your own, um, like a print and cut file. And this is just using the box, or like a rectangle or a circle, whatever kind of shape you want, and maybe some words or you know a graphic or something like that. But this is what we're going to do today: is we're going to create this little um, tag with the word dream in it and it's going to have a printed um, green line around it, a thicker green line and then it's also going to print out the dream but then we're also going to be using the um, registration marks so that you can make this a print and cut file so that once it's already printed then you'll put it into your cameo and make it a cut file and cut it out for you so let's go ahead and get started so I'm going to switch over to a blank screen and I'm going to go ahead and set my mat up, which will be letter size and on a 12 by 12 mat. I'm going to make sure I have my registration marks on there because I am going to make this a print and cut file. Um, I like decreasing that so it doesn't waste as much space. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over here and click on, we'll draw the rectangle. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle and I'm going to make it kind of big right now just so that you can see it. So right now that is strictly a cut file. It's just going to cut a rectangle for you. Alright, so what we can do, you can do this now or you can do it later, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and do it now just so it's it's done. So I'm going to offset, oh, I need to close, or highlight that. I'm going to do an offset. I don't want corner, I want it a corner, I don't want it rounded and I'm going to bring that in so it's a little closer okay so that last line the outside line is going to be my cut line now the inside line which as you can see is this one well, now I can't get it lined back up we'll go ahead and hit the back arrow there we go so we're on the inside line what I need to do is I need to go up here to the top to where the scissors are and open my cut window. I do not want that one to be a cut. I do want the other one, but I don't want that one. So I'm going to say no cut. And as you can see, when I close this out, that it, it, you know that changed just that one. If I went back into the no cut, um, let's see, you'll see there's a real faint line there, and then there's the heavy red line, which is your cut file. Okay, that's going to be the cut piece. So let's get back in. Let's get a hold of that other, that inside um, piece again. And now here's where I want to change its color. And it'll get a little less confusing because it'll be a different color now. We're going to change it to green. But you can see that's a very fine line. So now I'm going to go ahead to my next little icon, which is the line style. And at this point, if you wanted it to be a solid line, that's fine. Or you can even make it where it would look like faux stitching. Whatever you want. But, so I'm going to leave this as a solid line because that's what someone had asked me about. But, you need to make it a little thicker, otherwise you're never going to see that line on your um, paper. It, it'll be real faint. So as you can see, I can thicken it up some. Just by moving this line thickness over here. That worked great. I like that. That's a nice thickness. Good. Alright, so now let's go ahead over to our um, text area so that we can go ahead and create a word in there. Now we'll go over, and that brings up our text style. And what do I want to use? Oh, we'll go ahead and use the same thing I did before. And I'm just going to type it down here. So D R E A M. Okay, dream. Yes, it's a little bit big. What I want to do now is highlight dream. First thing I'm going to do is let's go up here and change that line color. Let's make it purple. Okay, so now it's a purple outline. But I also want to fill it in. Alright, so I'm going to go to my fill menu, which is right over here, your fill color window. And let's go ahead and fill it in the same purple. So now we've got it. But we want to make sure that it is actually not going to cut out, that it's just going to be strictly a print file. Alright, so let's go back to our cut 
it is not going to cut. That is good. However, as it stands right now, this is not going to print, nor is that green line we created. The reason being is now what we need to do is to go back into our line style window and where we did that thickness. Now you can do this at the same time. You don't necessarily have to do it in separate steps. I just didn't want it to, you know, like overwhelm or anything. So right down here you'll see it says print lines of selected shapes. So I'm going to click that. Now that is a print. That is going to print. If I left it down there it would print down there. All right, I'm going to click off that. Now I want to click that green. All right, and I want to do the exact same thing because I want that to print. All right, I'm going to bring this down and make it just a little bit smaller so it's going to fit in that box better. All right, and again, you can line this up better. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to right click. And I just like to make sure because I want to convert it to a path because I want to make sure that that font is going to look at it as an image. And Control G to group it all together so when I want to move it around, if I want to make duplicates of this and fill the page up, I can. As it is now, what will happen is it'll print your reg lines or your reg marks here. It will print dream and it'll in the purple. It will print that green line. And again, you can make these as thick as you want or as thin, or you can make them a, a dash line, whatever you want. Um, I think the faux stitching line would be really cute on it. And then once you've printed it, you're going to go ahead and put it into your Cameo and let the registration marks be recognized. Then it's going to cut that out for you and then you'll have your own little tag. And you can do this um, with your shapes as well. I mean, if you just want to use one of your shapes that you've purchased from the Zillette store, you can do the same thing and put a word in there, print it out, make it a uh, print and cut file. It's pretty easy. I mean, there are a few steps, but once you do it a few times, you'll be fine. You just have to remember that in order to print those, you have to print lines of selected shapes so that it will make sure and print for you. Otherwise, you're not going to get a, a, a print out of it. And that's it. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll catch you the next time around. Thanks.